viewers from all our friends across Canada and viewers across the globe. My name is Joe Ehizode. This is Platform Media International PMI Politics. There's a major election coming up in Canada on the October 19, 2015. All the contestants are across the board are making their policies and programs jostling from one corner of the city to the other, presenting their programs to the electorate. As a corporate responsible citizen, as a media house, we decide to go to town to speak to some of these representatives as their program will affect you. So it is an opportunity for this representative to bring their policy and programs to the studio and present it to you while you sit in the comfort of your home and listen to them. Because some of these servants have not got the opportunity to meet you one-on-one. -on -one. So it is our responsibility to bring them so that they present their programs to you for you to view. So that on October 19, when you go to the polls, you will make the wise choice. The parties contesting are the Green Party, the New Democratic Party, NDP, the Liberal Party, and the ruling Conservatives are all just in power trying to finish strongly at the finishing line on October 19. It is your choice, viewers. So stand aside and listen to them as they present their program. Happy viewing. Hello and welcome to Platform Media International Election 2015 Canada. I uh, will be going around town to talk to the representatives of different parties. As you are aware, viewers, the three major parties contesting, or four, as case may be, Green Party, the Liberal Party, the New Democratic Party of Canada, and the Conservatives. Today, we are talking to Sasha Ran Marin. Correct? Yes, that's correct. Of the Liberal Party representing Bonaby New West. Correct. And and the House of Commons in Canada. Yes. Sasha, welcome to the program. Oh, thank you very much for having me. Um the um, the issues at stake in the twenty fifteen election, October nineteenth and lemons. And you are one of those people just went to the finishing line. The yes. finishing line is October nineteenth. Correct. And uh, you're representing the Liberal Party. Correct. Um, viewers, we're coming here to just to talk to you so that viewers will have a choice. Um, the, you, you present your program so that viewers who are watching us will be able to have um, something to assess you to see whether you are one of those people that can represent them in Ottawa. Okay. So, what are you looking forward to? What is the Liberal Party? What is the package for? for for the electorates. Well, you know, the the electorate is looking for a real change in Ottawa. We, we, we've seen a, a 10 years of a conservative government that has been divided the country in various ways. We haven't seen a strong, uh, our economy is not, is growing as fast right now. We, we want to make a real change. We want to bring democracy back, more of a clear democracy back into Canada and having unifying people. Uh, we, we are passionate about all the voices in Canada. And in this writing particularly, I'm running because I want to make a real positive difference here and, and to represent every single voice in the writing. But to answer your question, our main platform can be divided into three, three points, a three strong point plan. First is to create jobs uh, and grow the economy through our historic infrastructure investment in Canadian history. We'll invest $60 billion over the course of 10 years and additional spending uh, in, in better roads, better SkyTrain services, more buses. Uh, and here in the West, uh, you know, the congestion, the gridlock is a major issue for a lot of people. So we'll invest to ease that congestion and build a better uh, uh, transportation system locally. This will all create jobs. So for example, putting more money to a Patello Bridge, which is much needed. The second aspect of our plan is to grow the middle class. We're going to cut taxes for the middle class, 
and by asking the top one percent of wealthiest wealthiest Canadians to pay a little bit more. <laughs> okay, let me just sure, let me just bring you on to tax on that. Of course. Um, the Liberal Party is proposing your 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 young leader Justin Trudeau uh, is proposing um, a, a budget deficit. Correct. Correct. Yeah. And the fear of the electorate is that when you are presenting a budget deficit, that's a, a signal that tax taxes will be levied on or across board. So what do you have to say about that? Because there's this fear when I talk to the electorate that if you are proposing a budget deficit, that's a, a kind of signal that there will be taxes, you'll be taxing the middle class that is becoming extinct. So what do you have to say about that? Well, the key thing about our platform, I mean, we, part of the deficit spending is the investment into the Canadian society, into infrastructure, the things that people need right now. The middle class is struggling, like you mentioned, it's disappearing. Mm -hmm. And we need to make investments now. People are suffering. People are concerned about whether or how they're going to pay for their children's education, whether they'll have enough money to retire. We need to invest now. We need to invest to grow the economy, create jobs. And we're actually going to cut taxes for the middle class. And we're going to ask the top 1% of wealthiest Canadians to pay just a little bit more in taxes. So the deficit is a modest in a deficit for the next three years, but these are this in, is an investment. It's an investment that will provide a stimulus to the economy and grow. And eventually, you know, in the next two three years, we'll see a growth of tax revenue in terms of the business that's being done throughout the country as a result of the stimulus and infrastructure. So the middle class is concerned about jobs. They're concerned about right now. How are we going to make uh, make ends meet? And these are the issues we are, we are, we are, we are aware of. Okay. Uh, you, 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 you're talking about middle class. Middle class is the mainstay of the Canadian economy, right? Okay. You graduate. The Patuno Bridge you just mentioned right. um, has been on top of the table. People are discussing how to create the Patuno Bridge. Mm -hmm. um, Patuno Bridge, you agree with me, is what the middle class cross from one part of uh, Surrey to New Westminster to Vancouver for jobs. If you are proposing building the bridge, is there going to be a toll? Well, the thing, the toll aspect of the toll, mm -hmm. was, it's determined by the provincial government. Okay. It's not up to the federal government okay. to determine. However, we, the, the municipalities in you know, U.S., Burnaby, Surrey, have all said that the federal government has not been a strong partner with them to invest into infrastructure. Okay. Uh, and this is what I've been hearing, and what I've been talking to the community, talking to various people in, in the cities, across the lower mainland, especially here in the U.S. and Burnaby. So the, you know, the federal government will put, provide the investment and work with the municipalities to build a new hotel bridge, to build better roads, better bus services. So this investment is in place. Now, in terms of you know, the levy, the, the toll, and all that, I, you know, I would not support having a toll in place because you know, that puts a chunk of your paycheck pulling, being pulled out, or whatever right. it may be. You know, it, 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 it actually hampers some, in some aspects the economy and hurts actually middle class. So I would not personally be supportive of that. But as I said, we need these investments now. Um, you, know, you know, people uh, are struggling and people are need more better jobs. And also we need to ease the congestion here okay. in the West. Uh, uh, Sasha, I'm looking at your name. You must be either a, 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 an offspring of a, an immigrant or you're an immigrant yourself, or first generation um, immigrant or whatever. Um, <laughs> But in the in the past, the Liberal Party is supposed to be made for the is is caters for the needs of immigrants. Yes, <laughs> I, I yes, and that's true. So, my, yeah. my my parents, uh, you know, I'm a second generation Canadian. I was okay. born in Canada, okay. but my parents immigrated from Trinidad mm -hmm. and Tobago, which is in the Caribbean, in the mid seventies. And you know, the Liberal Party at the time under Pierre Elliott Trudeau, uh, yeah. Justin Trudeau's the father, father yeah. you know, understand the importance of immigration and, and uh, immigrants coming all over the world to come to a better life, for a better life in Canada, but also to build uh, the, build and contribute to the economy. I mean, my parents had business, they employed people, they provided jobs, and, and, and contributed effectively to the community. And we need to have a government that understands and embraces a variety of cultures, because as Mr. Trudeau said in the second debate, a Canadian is a Canadian is a Canadian. There's no division. We need to be all embrace our all different cultures. Canada is supposed to be all inclusive. As a, it's a diverse uh, country, right. um, there's this fear that uh, the central government uh, policy lately has not been too friendly 
to the immigrants. And yeah, that's what I hear. I, I mean, on the field, I, I feel that. So, is there a policy that the uh, Libra is uh, bringing up, especially your leader, Justin Trudeau, right. that we ease the fears of immigrants? Right. And one of the biggest things is Bill C-24, uh, exactly. you know, it's repealing the aspects of that uh, bill that uh, creates a second-class citizen uh, amongst our, our immigrant community and people in Canada. We want to make sure that, you know, like I said before, Canadians are Canadians are Canadian. Uh, in terms of the immigration policy, you know, a lot of people that I talk to, uh, I do, I'm a business lawyer, so I work with a lot of businesses, uh, startup companies, and I also do a little bit of immigration law as well. And a lot of people complain about the wait times, like sometimes you have to wait two, three years for your application to process. Yes. And that shouldn't be the case. We need to invest, and we're committed to investing into the immigration and citizenship to ensure those wait times can be reduced and it's more efficient. We'll also double the family unifications from 5,000 to 10,000 to bring your parents and grandparents to Canada because when the family's together, everyone's happy, everyone's more unified. That one I want to quickly lay, that's a follow up. Let, let's, let me ask it from a selfish point. The, the, the minority group. You're riding gonna be in your West. I'm sure if you take a view about the demographics, there's this there's this movement of the minority, especially the black population, African immigrants or the black population. Um, they tend to be moving east. What I mean by moving east, uh, moving down out of your riding to Surrey, Chilliwack, and all that. I'm sure if you take a look at it, that is what has been happening recently. Yeah. And and what I've get you feel you feel like I'm getting from you is that New West is not a very friendly place for immigration. What do you have to say about that? Well, you know, I think it goes to the question of solidarity with different cultures. You know, personally myself, I have been in sol solidarity with the black community. I am well, not right now because I'm running in the election, but I'm the treasurer for the Canadian Association of Black Lawyers. And I'm in solidarity of supporting um, black lawyers or black students, law students, who are entering the profession to get whatever mentorship, or whatever uh, activities or seminars, etc., to so that they can uh, grow in their careers. But in terms of your question, in terms of the West, and if that's the case, you know, I think a lot of the aspect is the overarching principle of education and awareness of each other's cultures and embracing that within the communities. And I think, you know, working with the municipalities and local organizations to, you know, celebrate Black History Month and make sure that it's actually uh, front and center, because that's a very important month. Yes. And that will bring a lot of aware awareness to people in the community and be more accepting and knowing more of the history uh, of the Black community. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, how are you feeling about the election? Uh, a few days, few days to go, how are you? Feeling. What, is, what are the feelings you're getting from the field? I'm feeling really good. I think this election is going to be about real change. And I feel we, the Liberal Party of Canada, has a real uh, strong plan to make Canada a much better country. And, you know, Canada is an unfinished project. And we can all work together to... So to it's, it's the road under construction. Yeah, exactly. We're, <laughs> going to, we're going to build a better country and we have a good plan to do so. Now, I look at you, look at your leader, it's quite young, and I also see you, uh, is, uh, is, is it a team that the Liberal Party is meant for the, for the youth? Well, I mean, we want to include the youth in, in, in part of the government and, and politics as well, because in the last election, ages between 18 to 30, only about, I think, 30% of eligible voters came out and voted. So it's all about, you know, uh, getting the youth prepared to vote and being involved. Politics. Are you reaching out to the youth because they have to be enthusiastic to vote? Yes, exactly. We have to, you know, we have to be providing them what's really going on and actually showing them that their vote is their voice, and and, and that voice is a part of what kind of candidate they, they want to have in the future. So that's important. So I wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. So little if just that was Sasha Ram Marin. Representing Bonabi New West at the federal elections and his party on the platform of the Labour Party led by Justin Trudeau. And you fed him, and uh, I guess he has made enough points for you to make up your mind 
on October 19th. Uh, the issues are there for you to, to see and make up your mind. And I, I wish Sasha uh, the best of luck in the elections. And I hope if you win, we'll be here to celebrate. Of course. If not, it's another day. Exactly. Okay? See you at that time. Bye.